All right. So what you want to do is you want to start off by creating a composition that is the settings of your overall project. Now what you do is you'll go in right here in this panel right here, you could click on new composition. And if you want, you can set it up for 4K, which is 3840 by 2160, or you do 1920 by 1080. And this is a little bit better to do because it'll take less uh, time to render this out and it's still really great quality. Uh, you wanna set it up for however long you want the composition to be, the, the project to be. Um, this one, I'm just gonna make it my main comp. Okay, so now I'm gonna start off by creating a background layer. You can double click this square right here and it will create a rectangle the size of your composition. Now I want the fill to be this salmon looking color. All right, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna name this my background. So now that I have my background, I can lock that so I don't need to move it and I'll create text. So this text will say, Hello world. Right, and then I'm going to bring that up a bit. That'll be good. Right, now, when you want to deselect something, you want it to just be regular, you can hit the selection tool. And you can see right here, these little crosshairs right there. Um, that's where your anchor point is. That's where everything, all your motion is going to derive from that pixel. So normally what I do is I hold command, double click on the move anchor tool and it will bring it to the center of whatever your uh, asset is. Now I hit V again and I align, I wanna align this to the center of my composition and the dead center in the middle, up and down, left and right, so it's completely in the center. Now what I can do is I can go in and I could change the, the color, I'll make that white, and then I want to create a drop shadow behind this. Alright, so now it looks a little bit more lively. Let's, let's bring that, let's make that exclamation point. I'm excited to do this. Uh, and then I can change right here. This is the, the resolution, so the quality that you're seeing your composition. Um, I want to see what this looks like uh, once I render it out, so I'm going to put it at full. And it looks really crisp, nice and clean, which I like. I want to make that shadow stand out a little bit more. So what I, what I normally do is I take a sample of the background and I will just drop the brightness down about 50%. So I'll do that and then keep the opacity right there. Let's drop this back a little bit more and then we'll spread it a little bit and then make the size a little bit more. So it really looks 3D. It looks like it's sitting there in a different little world. All right. And what I want to do is I can animate this. Um, I will have this come from left to right and it'll take about one second and 15 frames. And there's a shortcut that you can grab the position. You just hit P. And this right here, you want to click this stopwatch to, to start your keyframes. So I want it to end right here. And then after about seven seconds I want it to move again so I'm gonna keyframe this right here and then I'll go out an extra second and 15 frames and then I could have this move All right. so I'll go to the beginning take away and usually what I like to do, which is a very helpful thing to have in After Effects, is I will highlight these center frames. I will hold Function, F9, and 
what that does is that easy eases the keyframes and it makes the animation a lot smoother. So we can play that back. All right, now that seems a little bit too long. I'm gonna go back to, let's do four seconds and 15 frames. All right, let's do that again. Seems a little smoother. 